Hey guys, Thunderstead here, and today we are doing more mech lords. Now, I never really jumped too far into mech lords, and it's for a good reason. They weren't very good until we got this boss monster, but it alone does really make the deck much more viable. It makes all the destruction you're doing much, much better as you fill your graveyard. You have something to build towards, and it's easily searchable. So it's Astro Dragon Triskelion. Cannot be normal summon, must be special summon by banishing three mech lord monsters with different names. So they have to be different names, it's not just three monsters. When it declares an attack, you get to look through their extra deck. Choose what specific monster you want to equip, and you equip and gain its attack. Very crazy, you can really cripple extra decks, you can really do easy OTKs. Very devastating monster, easy to get out pretty much infinite attack and uh, that's how you look at it no nothing really beyond that but still a pretty good monster we're supporting it with forbidden lance generally forbidden lance works pretty well as like back row and stuff like that so uh here we have just one y cell very situational but you can still search them it's the level fours that are important because we bring them out with obilaco Sorry, I said that terribly. Terribly. Obilgato. Obilgato. He will destroy himself, bring out two. Then you can Xyz. You can use a card like Boon of the Mechlord Emperor. You can search this card with Mechlord Refinement. You just send one monster to the graveyard, which is a great part of this skill. You fill that graveyard for your new boss monsters really well. Get this, draw two, you need just two mech lords on the field, it works really well with your first turn. Your second, it's a little tricky, your opponent can't have a face up monster, it is reliant on them too, it must be on the field in general. Assembly is a search, more copies of dragon here, so very very good. Like I said, the fours are just fodders for XZs and graveyard fodder for our dragon, so why sell super situational, just one. Treacherous, you don't really need, you could just get whatever generic support. It's all about this boy. So as long as you get Deployer into Dragon, everything's going well. Very strong deck now. It's all about the text. I like Forbidden Lance. Treacherous is obviously still one of the best of the game. Extra deck is simple. You use Gearsia to search, Dreadnought to evolve, and then from there you're not really doing much. It'll be clearer. In the replays more clear so hope you guys enjoy and thanks for watching okay here we are facing a my valentine trying for a rank up we have a three win streak this deck is doing pretty good it's a mad decent deck so shouldn't be too bad we go deployer into our two we already have boon in our hands so pretty useful we use the boon boom boom then we use our skill to throw that one away. We go assembly. Assembly will go into our dragon. And then we stop here and leave it at those two monsters. Also takes 100 damage since we left on those two monsters. We're facing a genuine heartbeat. Starts with the perfumer. Oh, again, Egotist is here. Now we could have brought out a white cell. Probably would have been for the best to stop these spell cards. But uh, we'll, we'll check it out next time. So here we are, Cyber slash Harpy Lady. There's an Oracle. Oracle destroys that boy, then he destroys Army of Steel. That brings out a bloated white cell, ends his turn, he has two back row, gives the elegant egotist right back to his hand. Not a huge deal, so we're gonna use assembly to destroy him. And here's why cell why cell's gonna be able to take our harpy lady. Now, he's gonna use fiendish chain, could have forbidden lance and stole his harpy lady all the same. And his harpy lady would get destroyed as soon as the forbidden lance wore off. But we have bigger fish to fry as we bring out our astro dragon. He's gonna try to book a moon in. Now, I try to scare him off with the Y cell, he doesn't chain to anything. So he flips that monster face down. We're gonna let him, believe it or not, because we're gonna assembly another dragon. Are you kidding? It's already ready to go. He doesn't have any back row to save him. We just dunk on his lowest monster with his own biggest monster, and he's done for. Great, great stuff, guys. 
All right, here we are facing a Yuya going second. He's on a win streak and a rank up that we will deny. Starting with Deployer, that's all you really want to start with. We already have our boon in hand too. Sadly, he's going to start with a bunch of face-up monsters, so our boon's not going to be too useful. He is desk bots. I think I misplay a little bit in this uh, match. He's bringing out an 03 and an 02. Searches 07. And there's 07. 06. So we get another Y cell. We're going to go to deploy it. Now that's three different names. We use our skill, throw that white cell, he's also a different name. Now we can use the assembly, search our dragon. So we're getting a bit started here. We're going to XZ's into our dreadnought, very good monster. Now I should have just sat on the dreadnought, or I should have made the Gearsia, sat him down, or a detached one I should say. Then I could have brought out the Astro Dragon. Swung over his monster, got this duel off much faster, much better. But uh, we're, we're gonna be fine. He's hard to destroy, and really would only be destroyed once. He was trying to destroy our back row, but uh, not a huge deal. We stopped the destruction, and now he can't get over us. So now we'll do the proper turn. We even have a second dragon, use our skill once again. Deploy once again. So look at us go. This would be another XZ's. Oh, an assembly when a monster is, ours, is destroyed, we get to destroy a face up spell. Here's the Gigant. What I should have done probably first turn, then we could have destroyed him pretty well. We get the White Cell Emperor. Banish 3. Here's the biggest boy on the block. Steal enough attack to get over his effect. It should be more than enough. 3500 was still a pretty big monster. Nice and easy. Then the Dreadnought swings over the little boy for the lethal break rate stuff, guys. Well, Alright, here we are facing a Kite Tenjo. We're going second. We catch our rank up, no problem. Boys had 25 cards over there. We have a Forbidden Lance, a White Cell, and an Assembly. He's gonna set two. Now we could have assemblied into our. Uh, Deployer and really got the combo started, but we're gonna destroy two and start with a white cell. White cell can negate spell cards, so he's he's a little reliant on spell cards. He would have to just swing naturally with this monster. He's gonna try to drown in mirror force us. We're gonna show forbidden lance. He's going to ultimate providence or forbidden lance. So either way, our mech lord white cell did get rid of a spell card, and the one spell card we're mostly worried about is stream of destruction. A pretty useful card. He can't be on the field forever, obviously, because he can only attack, so need a little more advanced. And then an attacker, sorry, advancer. It's no big deal whatsoever, especially with just 1500 life points. We even have another deployer play. So, I mean, we're gonna have plenty for this Astro Dragon. Going with the XCs of the Dreadnought, just in case he has some hand traps. Then banish our boys, we can let our Dreadnought destroy the Advancer and get an effect if we need it. And then we're gonna hit him for some really big damage, 7,000 damage, great great stuff guys. Alright, here we are facing a set of Kaiba, no win streaks between us. He's full Kaiba, ultimate dragons obviously. We got a Treacherous, I don't think I even said it, believe it or not. Sets through back row, how do you... Uh, pull a treacherous first hand and not even use it. Isn't that crazy? We got Deployer for two. We can use our skill because he doesn't have any face up monsters, which means Boon of the Mech Lord Emperor will work and give us two more cards. So we get another Forbidden Count, or sorry, Forbidden Lance, our first Forbidden Lance. Go Gigant. He's gonna try to trap pull us. There's the Forbidden Lance we just pulled. He is safe and we will get our effect off. Search another deployer for a possible follow-up. We already have more than three in the graveyard, so we're able to bring out the dragon and our boy scoops. Great, great stuff, guys. All right, here we are facing a Seto Kaiba on a win streak. But we're about to clap that win streak. He was also going for a rank up. 
not as far as we're concerned. We're starting with Deployer, that's all you really need. We have two Forbidden Lamps for him too. So that's going to be these two boys, and it's our first turn, so we're going to be able to use our skill. Throw away this Y cell. Get our draw two. Boom, boom. We get a dragon and a means to search another dragon, so that's two in our hand already. We're going to XEs to get a gear Giant. It's pretty much a gear shit monster. Search another Granel. And that was a really good turn. We set both Forbidden Lance, so I'm really anticipating using it. He's going to Ancient Rules, a Spear Dragon, Banish my Assembly, so not even one of the Ancient, uh, sorry, Forbidden Lances. Goes with a Beatdown Spear Dragon, who's going to get hit by a single Forbidden Lance and destroyed. So it's just the great, it's back row hate, and it has uses in some battle phases. Now he did... Synchro with the Stone of Ancient, so he's getting a Blue Eyes. Even a Blue Eyes would fall to a Forbidden Land swinging into the Silicarchia, so it's great stuff. We discard one, once again. Now we got another Grand Nail, we're gonna be able to use it. Half his attack. Now the big boy's coming, and he's very low, so he's gonna be completely caught off guard. He doesn't want to see the big damage, so he scoops. Uh, his deck's there now, guys. You can use better decks like uh, Book of Moon, or more back row hate, or whatever kind of ratios you want. Take out the restrictive Y cell and just do better stuff like that. There's tons of options, even with the extra deck. There's not many level 4 machines. We've probably shown you the best one. I don't know why I say we. I've probably shown you the best ones here with Gearshia and Dreadnought. There's just honestly not many options, so I don't know what I'm saying the best. Still, interesting deck with just one boss monster added. It gives all this chaos that was Mechlord a bit of coherency, so pretty cool. Hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks for watching.